we are back and um, we brought um, um, one of the prospects that obviously in the next um, two or three years might be taking over from Arunel Kodri. He just finished playing a game and um, I would like him to introduce uh, himself and uh, his feet um, in the past. Obviously, this is one player that um, I can tell you, you can pinpoint, everybody knows him when it comes to this game. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Ayo Motara. I play for Lagos State Visual Association. I'm the captain of the team, Lagos State. You're the captain of um, Lagos State um, Table Tennis um, Federation. Um, you've also been um, on um, Asojo Bar Cup competition, uh, which you know is not as big as this. But what can you tell us your achievement um, so far in um, tournament you've been, you've been partaking in? You know, like if I may say, I'm one of the best in the country, in the state. But you know it's an individual game. There should be only one champion, but it's just to be among the best. I've done my past, right from my junior to the intermediate to the senior level. But presently now, I'm representing the state. But the last two years now, I've been playing the tournaments, all Lagos State. I've been back to back, like Asho Joba. I lost the two finals and the doubles, the miss doubles. The Blue Shear Mask Cup, I won it. From our national league, all Lagos State League, I've been a champion. And then I play for Spring Fresh. The president I'm playing for OG Script Tennis Club, which is an individual. But now when it comes to states, time like this, we send the ghost But it's, it's only close because they represent our club. Okay, now, you were part of this tournament last year. Were you part of this tournament last I year? I did, I am. Well, what um, can you tell us um, we have experienced and um, where, which state did you get out from, uh, from the tournament last year? Uh, last year, uh, it was, I was so unfortunate. I found a group of a friend of mine, my very close friend, my training partner. We've been in the state together and the team together right from day one. We did more time, so I lost in the group. So I don't play second best in the group later. I lost to the foreign player, which is from the Finland. Okay, fine. Um, now, you've played the game today. Can you tell us what, who you lost to and uh, you won the game, the first game of that, yeah, you won the game. Tell us um, what the game is. Um, uh, all about? Uh, it's not been an easy task for me because we are playing men's singles together. We were last year at the National League, that boy from Mondo State, they did that win in the round of last 16, if I may say. He beat me 4 to 2. So for me to meet him again, and he's just upcoming player, so before I got to the table, I was somewhat less scared, but when I started the game, it's about my team and my coach. They just, I just can do it. Just go ahead and give us the best. So it's God, my side. I come out of victory, I end up beating 4-1 today. Interesting, 4-1. And, and apart, apart from that, um, you want, when is going to be your next game? And um, what are you looking forward to in your next game? Ah, it's not really easy. I'm playing from, from a foreign player based in Egypt. I'm playing Egyptian. So it's, we are looking forward to meet by 7.30 in the night. So any of us that win, they come out first in the group. Okay, fine, interesting. Are you, are, you, are you a little bit scared, skeptical that you're playing an Egyptian? Um, what comes to your mind when you're playing an Egyptian? Does it come with, oh, uh, I'm going to defeat it? Because we know when you talk about Nigeria, the next um, country I'm going to talk about are the Egyptians. Right now, I'm not scared of anybody because I'm playing at home. This is my home. I open this whole very soon. I said, the 22, I the coach, because I'm the touch bearer. You, you, tell everybody, you open, you are the I touch bearer. I am the coach 2012. Oh, the coach 2012. National Sports and Festival. And you open this oh, in the hall. Oh, the stadium everywhere. So I'm playing at home. I'm not scared. I'm at home. Okay. <laughs> I'm very confident with myself. Yeah, I like that. Um, I don't know that he's the touch bearer when um, in a coach 2012, you understand? And um, that shows so much. He feels so much of confidence that um, he would definitely defeat his next opponent who is also is, um, an Egyptian. So um, apart from that, yeah, I touch bear and all that. What do you, where do you see yourself in the next few years? Wow, wow, I'm going places, I'm going places. This guy is my limit. The way things are going now with the new board we have, the new commissioners, the new sport director, things are more like, not, are not different like before. So back to the job, do have club, do have state. But now we have more club, we have more state, we have like two way of income. When I spoke like this, we have the individual that sponsor, uh, okay, Come, come, let's sponsor this three out of a player. You go to that club, like Koi Club, Country Club. At least everything goes back to everybody. So, not that you come, even though you lost at the club, everybody's a winner. At least you see exposed, you meet foreign player, you have good equipment, that of facility, you have good odds, pay book. Most of us have not played. There's only like few of us that have to travel abroad that can play that kind of environment. But look at the most local player like me. I say this is too much. The board is affecting. Seeing white people are playing, it's even though they are playing there in a good equipment, they are scared already. But like we, we are used to the another 
the defense is not that much to be small of us, but the local players, but they are not getting to that standard now. They have good rackets, good rubber, look at Vaz. Everybody can look at us. They are looking shiny, looking more better. All of us are like professional, no different. Okay, yet um, yeah, as actually said, um, there's no difference um, between that. Yet, um, where do you want to see? Do you want to break um, your, uh, go beyond um, what you did in 2016? Um, but um, in this particular tournament, do you want to go beyond the, do you see yourself going beyond the, because uh, um, it's obvious that it's a very tough tournament. What do you, where do you see yourself after today's game? Yeah, myself, I want to do very well in the single, because last year, I won the, I won the, the doubles. I came third. The main singles, me and my team, my, my team, I made that in car. But last year, I did not do well in the singles. But yeah, I'm not playing doubles. I want to focus on the singles. I see myself maybe uh, playing the quarter out in the final. Yet, uh, I'm, really, I'm really excited right now. If you are watching us on Ascent TV, um, we are watching straight um, from Facebook. We are at the uh, media center um, um, of um, the Bola de Okoya, um, uh, Thomas Orr, where we have um, the 2017 um, Lagos um, Nigerian Open, we call the ITTF International Accredited um, uh, um, um, Tournament. Thank you so much um, for being part of the show. Yes, and I said, don't go away right now. When we come back, we'll be giving you more prospects. I tell you, these are guys that in the next two years, three years, they'll be taking over um, from the likes of Shekin Toyola and um, Aldo Kodri. They've done so well. And it's good to know that he said that uh, he was the touch bearer when this um, all was opened in 2012. In the code 2012, this was the face of um, Lagos when it comes to tennis and sport. And here is sick flourishing and moving forward. And we're expecting to do much better than it did in 2016 edition of this tournament. It's nice having you again.